in today's video we are going to create windows 11 light version using microsoft utilities which also work on very low end system which doesn't meet windows 11 system requirement so you can also say that in this video we are going to deep load windows 11 from scratch using microsoft official iso and utilities in other words you can also say that we are going to create our own tiny 11 windows you can run it on any low end hardware you can do it for windows 11 pro and any windows version you want so this is only possible because of anti deep developer who just created a tiny 11 builder using microsoft official utilities there will be no risk of using any third party modified isos as you can see developer also saying my main goal is to use only microsoft utilities like dims and no utilities from external sources the only executable includes oscdimg.exe which provides in the windows adk and it is used to create a bootable iso so this removed lots of apps here like clipjam news and xbox many more listed here and this also disable windows component store and windows defender windows update also stopped here let's see how we can make our own tiny 11 or deep load windows 11 first thing first you need an official microsoft iso so let's go into this page download the latest iso of version 23s2 and select download option select here windows 11 multi edition download now after that you need to select a language like english united states click on 64 bit download after downloading you need to download this project here by clicking on source code and it will automatically download just extract all the files here if you want to run this script you need to run this command here on powershell as an administrator otherwise it will crash just right click and paste the command here press y now just mount the iso which you have downloaded press shift and right click on this file to copy the complete path Type here and sign and space and right click to paste the complete path here and hit enter. Do you want to continue? Just type here Y. Now it is asking like please enter the drive letter for the Windows 11 image. So here you can see drive letter G. Type here and hit enter. After that it will show you list of Windows 11 versions. Here you need to enter the index. Like I want to reload Windows 11 Pro. Type here 6. After that you don't need to do anything, all processes are automated and if you know something about coding so you can right click and edit the file, you can see the complete code over here. So basically there is no risk of using this, you can use it without any kind of issue. So this is the best way to deep load windows or install windows on any low end system. After that you will see here tiny11 iso will be created here in this extracted file. As you can see tiny11.iso is created here 2.7 GB and the official Microsoft iso is around 6 GB right. So now you can make the bootable USB of this iso, install it on your system. Now we have successfully installed this Windows 11 Lite on your system. You will not see any bloated app here like the list of apps I just showed like what apps are removed here. You can see the installation size here. Right click on the C drive and go into properties. It's around 10 GB. Official installation is around 21 GB. And let's see the resources uses over here. CPU is normal. It's using 118 processes which is very very less. RAM using 1.4 GB. It uh, totally depends upon how much free RAM you have in your system. This is going to work very smoothly on your system so okay guys this is how you can deep load windows 11 from scratch 